That clock is wrong. Okay, uh, so just about to hit the hotel and, uh, while I was walking through downtown, just trying to find my way back to uh, the center street to catch the train back to uh, uh, the station near the hotel and uh, took a wrong turn and ended up right in the middle of the fucking Vancouver boonies. like. Vancouver's edition of Skid Row and fuck me that was fucking terrifying I was very nervous I did not make eye contact with anybody I avoided everybody and I walked at a brisk pace because I did not want to get grabbed uh, friggin hand shot out from like to grab my knee or something like that or and then had my hands in my pockets the whole time kept my GoPro hidden Fuck, I, and it was like 20 minutes of just straight homeless people and oh my god that was fucking whack and I just like was hoping I was just like praying inside that I wasn't gonna get noticed or they would just leave me the fucking alone which they did thankfully but yeah back at the hotel now so all's good all's well and good in the world that was an adventure. <sighs> okay, so about, I guess, uh, a little bit more context earlier. I was trying to find my way back, coming back from uh, the vantage point that you guys saw. Pretty nice uh, beach, dog park, uh, waterfront. Uh, I didn't really look at the map. I was uh, Google Maps and I don't have data, so I didn't have any directions. And I took a wrong turn and I literally, I'll probably put like the map up of like what street I turned onto because I remember it. But I just basically turned into Skid Row of fucking Vancouver, like 20 minutes straight of just people on the streets, people on the streets, people asleep on the streets, people hanging out with other people on the streets. And it was sketchy as fuck. I didn't, <laughs> I, a part of me was thinking that I should just take out my camera just to get like two seconds of footage and then fucking like run away. But I was like, no, fuck it. If I, if they see like any, anything like loose, they're just going to like lunge at me or some shit. And I was like, I'm not going to let that happen. So I just fucking, I, I looked like this all the whole time. I was like, hands in my pocket, hands in my pocket, right? 
making sure I have everything, making sure that I don't fucking pickpocket. Have my fucking fanny pack up here where I can, you know, if anyone fucking comes up to me, you know, I just push them away, right? So I was like, just keep walking like this. So I was like, don't pay no attention. Don't pay, don't pay in them any mind. Let them be and they'll let me be. So fuck. that was scary. I was like checking my phone like every so instant. Like when there's like not people around me, like, okay, where do I need to go? Okay, I need to go here. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. I was, I was like, that was the fastest I've ever walked in like my life, I swear. And then like, there was like these two white guys in front of me who like you know we're walking together so i was like i'll i'll like stay close to them so if anything happens i'll i'll, I'll at least have some hands nearby you know so yeah as you can tell i'm very flustered and i'm uh trying to think of what to say because that was a uh, an experience i don't really want to live down and uh, it's not really my first experience uh uh with homeless people but it was definitely the worst experience because i've seen homeless people in edmonton and I definitely don't think that there's a fucking sh like whole two city blocks of just straight homeless people unless yeah, I mean I don't go downtown in Edmonton enough so uh, and I don't want to cause fuck that uh, and yeah it was uh, it was pretty sketchy like you know like like straight up like red brick walls boarded up windows graffiti everywhere like oh, it was just it was it was something but i'm back i have all my shit and i've got a new look on life hmm who knows but yeah that's my uh that's my little ramble i want to have some ramen Chicken nuggets. And they came in a tote bag. <laughs>